pro-Palestinian protests erupted across the United States on Monday, causing disruptions at key locations including the Golden Gate Bridge, O'Hare Airport, and various other sites. More than 150 individuals were arrested or taken into custody as demonstrators blocked roads and impeded traffic in cities from coast to coast. In San Francisco, iconic scenes unfolded as dozens of protesters converged on the Golden Gate Bridge during morning rush hour. Signs bearing slogans such as, Stop the World for Gaza, were raised, while some demonstrators went as far as chaining themselves to vehicles, leading to significant delays in bridge traffic for several hours. Simultaneously, protesters in the Bay Area obstructed other roadways, complicating efforts to restore normal flow. The protest wave extended to other parts of the country, including Chicago, where demonstrators brought traffic to a standstill on routes leading to O'Hare Airport. Expressing frustration with US support for Israel amid the conflict in Gaza, protesters voiced their determination to disrupt normal operations. In Seattle, a similar scene unfolded as demonstrators blocked access roads to the Seattle-Tacoma Airport, denouncing the use of taxpayer money to fund what they termed as genocide. Meanwhile, New York City witnessed gatherings in prominent locations like Wall Street and near the Brooklyn Bridge, where protesters waved flags and held placards in solidarity with Palestine. While arrests were made in various cities, specific figures were not immediately provided by authorities. President Joe Biden's recent remarks, emphasizing a focus on Israel's security and the pursuit of a ceasefire in Gaza, underscored the ongoing geopolitical tensions driving these demonstrations. As the conflict continues to garner global attention, protests serve as a visible expression of dissent against US policies seen as favoring one side over the other.